Do you have the hiccups again? Hi. Look at them little cheeks. Are you ready to eat already? Already? <laughs> These are to keep her from pulling out her oxygen line that she keeps yanking on. Yeah! Some things never change around here, huh? Hi, Dee. Yep. You too. Hmm. Andy. So everyone asks the question how the animals are taking um, having a baby in the house. And just so you know, they pretty much ignore it just like they do everything else. Mom brings home the dog. She don't care. Dexter, he's off sunning in the window over there. Mia and Bayou, uh, they're over there sleeping. Every once in a while when she makes noises, they'll peek, um, peek at her, but they could really care less. As you get bigger and make louder noises, they might care. Yeah. Right now we spend a lot of time in the nursery because being on oxygen, it's kind of hard to be mobile. And um, when the weather's cold, it's hard to keep the house warm enough for her. I can keep the nursery a lot warmer. Hey, Adeline. Is it foggy in here? So yes, it is. Someone keeps having trouble breathing. So guess where we're at? And you love it. You're all like, I like this uh, laying around in the diaper thing. You wanna go move to the tropics? Yeah, you want to move to the tropics? She just keeps going, ooh. Yeah, that CD there, you two, uh, what was that there, Octune Baby CD? Is that what it was called? Anyways, that was like junior, senior year of high school for me. I played that CD over and over again until I don't even think it worked anymore. You know, we all have a couple of those, especially in high school. I had put a few of those on my uh, playlist the other day for some reason. It struck me. Hello, interwebs. It's been kind of a depressing day. I needed some, some music to get my head back in the game. Should I tell you? You might think of me weird. Today was my grandma's funeral. She passed away on Sunday. I'm so glad I took Adeline to see her up. Uh, beforehand because she really she became pretty much incoherent a couple days later and everything started to shut down so if I had waited even just a couple of days I may not have she may not have been um, able to enjoy it at all so anyways today was her funeral I guess everybody's got different beliefs I tend to go to the funeral more for my grandfather and my family than for me. I said my piece. I went to visit her last Friday on my own. We talked. I said my goodbyes. Um, and I kind of tried to move forward from it. She was in a lot of pain for a long time. So it's kind of nice to see her released from that, so to speak. I wish there was something else that could have been done, but it just wasn't possible. Adeline is doing really well. Um, I can't believe I'm not. It, it, it really sucks having a preemie because I can't take her out with me. So it's really hard to leave her for a few hours. To me, she's still young. She's supposed to be with mom all the time, but I can't take her with me. Um, so I don't know. I don't know at what point we'll be okay. Maybe past cold and flu season. I, I don't know. <sighs> day by day. She's probably at least five and a half pounds now. We have a doctor appointment tomorrow, so we'll see. She's doing well. Me? I can still.
still use a little bit more sleep and maybe a shower more often, but otherwise, I can't complain too much. I guess I don't know what else to talk about at the moment. Um, my mind's not all here, so let's go home. Love comes slow and it goes so far